Hello everybody. I did a video a while back here with me and one of my buddies on this 5-in-1 survival tool. Not only did it come with a fire starter flint on it, a compass, the whistle, the lanyard, and there's a mirror inside the cap. But I took and changed one over, made a little kit out of it. I wanted to show you. I took, first thing I did is I removed the little nylon string they had on it. Took some 550 paracord. And I ran it through the loop on it. And just in case that little piece of plastic breaks there that's holding it. I wrapped it on around it. So there's no chance on losing it there. We got like three foot of paracord on it. And I wrapped. Got a little strand of fish line sticking out there. But there's 50 foot. Of 10 pound test fish line on it and two foot of the orange duct tape which you can use for starting fires or if you had to hold a band-aid on or something you could use it for that you got the compass on the end here and you got the little whistle that comes with it already and on the side, you won't be able to see it on the one I got here, but I'll undo this one and show you the little flint part on the side. Which on the side, they got a little part here for you to strike. That way you can get a fire going. Only bad part is you get this, but there's nothing in the kit for you to strike it with. Inside there's cap, there's a little mirror you can use it for to do a single with. Or like Chet said on my other video, you could use it to look in your eye if you had something in it or a splinter in your face or something. I took and I added a cotton ball. A piece of hacksaw blade. That way you have something you can strike that with to get a fire started. Or if you needed to cut something that ain't real Hard to cut. You could use the side of the blade here with the teeth on it. I got this little straw filled with Vaseline, which you could use to soak the cotton ball with to get a fire started. I got two safety pins. I dropped something. I got a Another little tube here that has steel wool inside it, which is a good item to have when you're striking the little flint part to catch the spark to get a fire started. And just in case you get cut or something, most times it's on your hands or somewhere like that, so you're not going to be able to thread a needle. I went ahead and I tucked some 10 pound test line 
and threaded it. We got five foot of fish line there. You could sew yourself up with. Or you could use it to sew a tin or whatever. I have five matches in it. Kind of hard to get the stuff out. Actually, six matches. Sorry about that. And I got a little striker paper in there for you to lighten the matches with. I have two little band aids. Just in case you get a small cut, you can put these on it. And I have a little exacto knife blade. I tried putting a little regular razor blade in there that you'd use for scraping, but it didn't fit. So I went to the exacto knife blade. And they fit down in there great, and they're really sharp. I have four sinkers in it. And I put two fish hooks. I think they're number six fish hook. That way you could use this for fishing. But just in case you didn't have any bait, you could always take a piece of the paracord. And I got another video up on that. And I'll put a link to it so you can watch it. On how to make a lure out of the paracord and the fish hook. Plus, I got an extra needle taped to the inside here, just in case the other one breaks or you lose it. You got one in here yet that's taped to the side you could use. But that's pretty much it, everybody. Let me know what you think of this kit. And if you're interested in one, Drop me a message and I'll give you a price on it. But other than that, have a great day everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and have a great night everybody. Bye.